Hi guys, I am Vicky and welcome to my channel Different Russian. This little video is about my trip to Vala. Now we are on board a ship and while we are sailing, I have time to tell you about the organizational side of this journey. Those who watch my videos know that I live in Moscow, in the capital of Russia. So, if you are in Moscow and uh, you have about four days of free time, you can go to St. Petersburg. This city is very popular with foreigners. And at the same time, you may visit Valam. As for me, I went alone, without friends. I bought a pilgrimage tour in the company. In Russian, it is called Kavchek. Uh, they organize trips to holy places all over the world. The tour price was about $200. I think the price is not very high because it includes hotel accommodation on the lawn, six meals in the monastery cafe, uh, two excursions and uh, all transfers. Train, bus and boat. I went from Moscow to St. Petersburg by train. It's about eight hours. Then I went uh, from St. Petersburg to Pryazovsk by bus. It's about three hours. And finally from Pryazovsk to Valam by boat. It's about three or four hours. A few words about Valam and its location. Valam is one of the most interesting cultural, historical and nature attractions in the north of Russia. The nature of Valam is unique and extremely beautiful. Thousands of tourists and pilgrims come from all over the world to this northern part of Lake Ladoga. By the way, Lake Ladoga is the biggest lake in Europe. In fact, Valam is an archipelago consisting of uh, 50 large and small islands. The total area of islands is about 36 square kilometers. The largest island, as you may guess, is called Valam. This name is from the Finno Ugric word Valamo, which means the high mountain or ground. The Valam Monastery has its own complicated history, rooted in the olden times. Historians don't have an agreement on foundation date. Spasa Preobrazhensky Cathedral of Valam Monastery, or it is also called the Savior Transfiguration Cathedral, is the main cathedral on the island. It was erected in 1887-1892. It is the highest construction on Valam. It's about 72 meters high. A small island where Nikolsky Skid is located used to be called Cross Island, when in 1853 the church was built in the honor of St. Nicholas the patron saint of all travelers, the island got the name of Nikolsky. This island is also very nice and the view is extremely beautiful and picturesque. I should say that I had no luck with weather. On the second day it was raining cats and dogs and uh, we had a two-hour walking excursion. So it was a real challenge for me. It was the end of August. The temperature was about 10 degrees centigrade, so it was rather cold and windy. All my clothes got wet. At first I thought it was not a big problem. I had no dry clothes to change, so I decided to go to the store to buy clothes. I had two hours of free time before the departure of the ship. But I searched in vain. 
there are no shops on the island where you can buy warm clothes. Only grocery stores. And locals go to the nearest city of Sertavala. It's about three hours by boat. So my advice is the following. If you go to Valam, you should take extra warm clothes with you. Well, guys, my journey comes to the end. I should say that Valam left a very strong impression on me. Though I stayed on the island for two days, but it is not enough. To experience the unique atmosphere of this energetically strong place, you need to stay on the island at least for a week. Also, I really like to shoot videos, uh, but I had no desire to switch on my camera. But I took many photos and you may find them on my page on Facebook and Instagram. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you liked my video. If you have any questions, you may write them in comments. So, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yours, Vicky.